Oh, oh, John. Oh, oh, look, they're beautiful. Oh, oh, my goodness. John, what's wrong? Nothing. I have to go downstairs. I, I want to check the furnace. I'll be right back. Why don't you take the champagne to bed with you? All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. You better be. Don't be long. <laughs> for me to go back in my box. What the hell are you up to? Champagne. What am I supposed to do now that you've got it all riled up? You know how hard it is to go up there and pretend you haven't been around? You're acting like a damn fool, like the perfect little husband. I couldn't imitate you. Another thing, what are all those presents you're getting, my wife? Hmm? You got some nerve. From now on, you check with me on every action you make. You got that? No. No? No. I've been watching you and your wife very carefully. At first, I sympathize with you. Your reason for buying me, your motive. But then, but then, but then that was before I really got to know your wife. We've been doing a lot of talking while you're away, doing whatever it is you do. Talking about what? All the things you should have talked about a long time ago. The way you changed, how cold you've grown, always busy at work. Never having a minute, not a minute, to tell her that you love her. Now, wait a minute. Shutting your poor wife out of your life, driving her insane with your indifference. She did everything for you. Kept the house clean. Cooked you wonderful meals. Gave you massages. Anything to get your attention. Shut up, you love. Shut up! Braille. Do you really know what it feels like to be trapped? Where were you going? I, I, I was just, I was just going upstairs. The wife. We were talking too loudly. Let's consider it. Sure, you weren't going to call Marionettes Incorporated. Why would I do that? To tell them to take me away. <laughs> of course not. That's silly. No. Have you been talking to my wife? Did she put you up to this? That dear, sensitive woman. She'd never think of a thing like this. What are you going to do? Second honeymoon, I think. Six months, South America, Rio. I already bought the tickets. My wife will love it. South America? Your wife? Yes, Mr. Braley. My wife. No. What are you going to do? I'll, I'll give you anything. I already have everything, Mr. Braley.
to Rio. We're flying down to Rio, to Rio, to Rio, the land of romance. What were you doing down in the basement? I heard a noise. Just a rat. Oh, my hero. <laughs> Oh, John. Oh.